what's up guys Omega here and welcome back to GT7 for another lap guide this one bringing us to Lago Majore full course layout in the group 3 cars and today we're going to be using the BRZ it does look like there's a few cars to choose from for this one but after trying several cars I settled on the BRZ I tried the GTR the Porsche and the Peugeot but this definitely felt the best for me and ultimately got the quickest time so on the medium tires we do once again have some damper suspension tuning available and brake balance available so I'll run through that quickly first and then we'll jump straight into the lap guide so these are the four settings that you can adjust so damping ratio compression front is 20 rear is 30 and the damping ratio expansion is 35 on the front and 44 on the back and we're also running a plus two brake balance in this one so starting off your lap you start around this point here just before the final corner and as always you just want to make sure you get a very good run around this corner over the start finish line you can see i abused the track limits there quite a bit i'm just revving the car right out for this one i did take a look at the ecu settings for the engine to see when you're supposed to change and it does look like you're supposed to short shift this car but i watched killian and another guy who has the current world record and they aren't short shifting so i'm just going to follow what they're doing i'm sure they have a better idea than i do digging to the right as you go over the start finish line and what we're looking for coming into turn one is the end of the pit wall once that goes off your screen that is when you want to start braking i'm shifting all the way down to first gear and then straight back up to second cutting a decent amount of this first apex and getting back on the power trying to push the car slightly towards the center of the track to line up the next corner and once this white bit of stuff on the grass goes off your screen that's when you want to just dab the brakes shift all the way down to first gear for the rotation swinging the car in quite hard and then once we hit the inside apex we want to be shifting back up to third gear for the exit and just as the car is about to come off the apex you want to be back on the power and focus on getting the car over to the right hand side go out as far as the line this will open up the next left hander and then once this second line comes across the track that's around the point that i want to start turning in i leave the car in third lift off the throttle and this kind of helps the car to point in towards the apex then i shift back up to fourth gear and get back on the power just as i'm leaving the apex and now trying to push the car to the left hand side try and open up this next right hander and pretty much as you get to these black signs on the left hand side that's when you want to start braking and turning in shifting down to second gear and aiming for the inside apex back up to fourth before i hit the curb and back on the power and the reason i'm going to fourth here is that you can use third but i do find it much quicker to use fourth because third tends to try and kick out a lot and even in fourth gear it will still try to kick out the car can be quite snappy but i also found it much quicker as well you can run really 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 ridiculously wide at this corner but i don't really suggest it because in my experience i think you get dirty tires and it makes the next corner very difficult but you can do it and then just flat out down to this next awkward right hander and what we're looking for as our braking reference for this one is the end of the little extra bit of concrete beside the track braking at that point i'm leaving the turn in quite late shifting down to second gear aiming the car at the apex and double shifting up to fourth gear and back on the power as you hit the inside curb now again you can use third gear out of here but i found fourth much more stable and actually quicker and then flat out get over to the right hand side of the track for this next sequence of corners and this is a very large part of your lap time getting this corner right because if you get it right you're flat out coming out of this corner all the way to the end of the back straight so very crucial part to get right but also quite tricky to get right and the way i judge this is when i'm halfway on this curb basically right in the middle of it that's when I stab the brakes and shift down to third gear and swinging the car in towards the apex once I've got the rotation straight back up to fourth gear and back on the power taking a big chunk of the first apex and for this second one you also want to be taking a big chunk of it because this is basically what allows you to stay flat out around the next corner you can dip the car in quite a lot here probably a bit more than you think but it can also be a little bit iffy you can sometimes get a penalty when you don't think you will so just be careful of that same with this next one just be careful because you can get a penalty here using all the available runoff get to the curb on the left just meeting all these apexes as long as you're carrying enough speed you should kind of naturally meet them and coming down this next hill this is where this car is absolutely flying at this point the second quickest car that i drove was the porsche and it was reaching 260 kilometers an hour and this is reaching 266 so very very quick and what we're looking for for this one is the 50 board breaking just as we hit that shifting down to second gear taking quite a decent chunk out of the inside apex back up to third gear as we hit it and back on the power as early as possible now for this one the track goes around to the left hand side you don't really want to be going all the way out to the right hand side of the track and hitting that apex you do lose a little bit of time doing that just kind of try and straight line it keep the car close to the left going around here keep it flat out and take a decent chunk of the curb on the right hand side this will allow you to keep it flat without running wide coming out of the corner and then for this next right hander what we're looking for is just before we hit the 50 board we want to be on the brakes and down to third gear taking a very decent chunk of this inside apex i'm leaving it in third here carrying out once i touch the curb let the car go right out to the left hand side and at the end of the curve 
curve. I come off the accelerator, apply a tiny bit of brake and back down to second for the rotation very momentarily. And then back up to third gear and back on the power once I hit the apex on the inside. Keep the car to the left, run it along this curb and then let the car go out to the right hand side coming up to the last corner. And what we're looking for as a braking point is the board on the side of the track or the end of the curb, whichever one you want to use. Braking, shifting down to third, the rotation, aiming it pretty much straight at this next curb. Back up to fourth gear and back on the power before I hit the apex using all of the available track width that is there if necessary and then run it to the line and that one's good for a 154.810 so what i'll do now is i'll play that back in full speed so you can see the lap in real time if you got any value out of today's video let me know by dropping a like on it and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one cheers